So, welcome back to this uh, regular meditation session. And as usual, just the checking of your initial stages, ticking the boxes, is uh, finding a comfortable position, leaving all your responsibilities aside, and uh, dedicating this half an hour for the purely the cultivation of the mind and designating this time for the practice and relax your body by taking a few breaths and releasing all the tensions relax body is an uh, important part of the practice. If we have uh, tenseness or uh, discomfortness in our body, then it will be difficult for us to stay still for a longer period of the time. And the body begins to aches and pains and as a result we will not be able to uh, be mindful uh, of uh, our own mind and uh, unable to be mindful of the object and one more thing tonight I would like to add is that I am just uh, assisting you uh, with this practice I mean, just the guidance as a you know helping you to learn these techniques uh, once you have learned uh, or known these techniques and you have to practice um, into your own comfortable times and suitable times at home and only then brings the fruit and whatever purpose of you attending this meditation uh, is entirely for your benefit and you have to take the most out of it So, uh, after you have relaxed yourself and seated comfortably, bring your attention to the abdomen as we have been working on this uh, for almost a week now. So spend a few minutes settling down, grounding yourself on this abdomen observing the abdomen rising falling but obviously if your mind is very restless unstable yeah, not composed yet you may start scanning the body and finding the primary object that suits you but if you've been working with the primary object as the rising falling then straight away go on to it and this uh, using one technique for significant of a time is simply to and be familiar with that it's like a, a doctor will prescribe you a particular medicine for your disease or illness and then will put you in a, into the trial for certain weeks and a months and inviting you to recheck again and again 
whether the medicine is working or not, whether needed to change the medicine or change the diet or change the way of life. And the doctor will prescribe you to follow certain lifestyles and also may change uh, the medicine. <coughs> so, <coughs> with this region, uh, this technique, you know, doesn't matter how many techniques you know or the technique that you feel comfortable you know, for during this time, try to follow the instructions thinking uh, that I will work on that and then you know, with the practice you know, if you are willing to share or willing to you know, ask a questions and then I know that where to turn and what to be moved or what you need to be added on like that so continue uh, practicing with the confidence and with the faithful like taking a medicine regularly as the doctor prescribed you to do it and only then we know the changes taking place in our body so does the practice of a meditation when you are working with one object for some times then you will be able to recognize and also will be able to see what's wrong where need to be add or where need to be cutting off or what needs to be done so diligently practicing with your full effort settling down grounding yourself onto the primary object as it rises and as it falls and mentally making a note with your clear consciousness that this is rising this is falling When it is rising, simply making a mental note that this is rising. When this is falling, simply making a note that this is falling. So I will be going a little faster all these uh, methods that we have been uh, practicing over the week on this path. Just to give you more one more tip. So as you are observing rising falling of abdomen along with the breath uh, with your clear consciousness making a note of it as it takes place rising falling rising falling and extending your awareness to see the climax of a rising and the death of the falling and what happens at that time the emptiness or the softness or the calmness you may experience there and extending from there to understand which one is longer and which one is shorter is it the same way of a rising or a falling <coughs> And if you find that your mind is composed and uh, mindful, then you will be able to see the gap between rising, falling, and the place normally is before the rising, after fall. It's a long gap, which is the place normally mind slips away, sneak away to the thoughts. In that moment, we extend it to the touching so aware of the touching point as our bottom is touching a floor or your sofa couch so rising falling touching extending it into the touching and again extending from one touching to the two left and a right as you feel there is a long gap we simply 
closing all the possible doors that the mind will slips away to the thoughts and which normally the negative thoughts so mindful of that and along with that experiencing the expansion of the entire body and uh, deflation of entire body as the rising falling takes place when breathe in and the abdomen rises and experiencing or observing training your mind to be observe uh, to, to observe the entire body expansion and when the breathe out abdomen falls train your mind to observe the entire body deflates or contracts so rising falling And you may see the interconnectedness between this rising, falling, the breath and the entire body. Each one is being caused for another and uh, to arise and each one that arises being caused to another. So fading away of arising is a cause to rise the abdomen and arising is a cause for the fading of the falling and that same with the rising falling an entire body so I'm mindfully aware of this connectivity and so also known as the dependent origination one arises another vanishes vanishing of one thing is the cause to arise another and another is the cause the another which is arising is the cause for the vanishing so replacing one to another So by this time of observing this, you should be able to be mindful that your mind is being observer of these all the phenomena that are taking place, which you have nothing to do. You are not controlling the process. You are not creating the process. You are being simply observer of entire process so train to know these two different things the observer and observed the object it is similar that you are staying in the hive or hide and watching the birds play nothing to do nothing to worry you simply sit there and observe so you are simply a spectator You should be able to see that difference between the body and your mind which is completely away from this process but you're watching the play.
and on this stays again rather than having any opinions or any thoughts onto the things that you're observing the whole process of the rising falling of abdomen and uh, the connectivity with the entire body and all the process are two things never the same the process is simply natural process that is taking place whether we notice it or not it's there functioning and this process again we are not interfering so we can see how smooth that is and we simply a spectator watching it so we train ourselves or train the mind to watch this process and you will be able to see that this process is simply taking place due to the breathing in and out the air coming in and going out So continue observing it mindfully, ardently. And training yourself to make a mental note of these and just let it go. Make sure that you have a clear consciousness to be aware of these and hitting the nail this 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 and let be let it be
Now it's time for the loving kindness meditation practice. Relax yourself and bring into the moment here and now. And whatever hatred or ill will thoughts towards anyone you may have, just leave aside, even to yourself. Sometimes you may feel angry at yourself, at the point at the time disappointments, not able to fulfill the tasks. And sometimes annoyed, unhappy, angry at yourself because misleading or not committing what should be done, or full, not fulfilling the responsibilities. So taking away all the negative thoughts and generating loving thoughts towards yourself. It's okay. And sending these loving thoughts towards yourself. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be at peace. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be at peace. And similarly sending these loving thoughts and kind wishes to all other sentient beings starting from the dear one. Whatever beings there are, visible and invisible beings, those who are around us, in our community, in our village, in our city, in our country, on earth, in the universe. May they be well, may they be happy, may they be at peace. May no harm come to them. May all beings be well and happy. Bring your attention to your hands, aware of sensations in your hand. And to your body, aware of sensations in your entire body. And to your eyes. And as you hear the gong slowly coming out from meditation and reflect for a few moments. Let's pay respect to the Buddha. <clears throat> 